The BHP Billiton Aquatic Super Series comes to Perth in late January and it's at Challenge Stadium. A great opportunity to go and see the world's best and, of course, Australia's very yes. best. And we are the best in the world, let's face it. Uh, we're very lucky to be joined by Libby Trickett, an icon of Australian swimming. Good an morning, Olympic Libby. gold Correct. medalist. Good like, morning. Hi, Thank you for having Libby. me. You won everything along the way. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming in. Good to have you here. My pleasure. It's awesome. Hey, where do you keep your gold medals? Ah, uh, it's a good question. Um, there's uh, my Beijing uh, medals uh, from the Beijing Olympics are in Canberra at the moment, I believe. They've been there for four years, <laughs> okay. so I'm hoping they're still there. Um, and the rest of them are in uh, either a chest or in my safe at home. And do you right. have like a lot of keepsakes because of your career? Do you have like your um, say a Olympic outfit somewhere? Your first pair of bathers you won something, <laughs> and do you keep that sort of? I've de- yeah, I, I've kept the really memorable moments. Um, pieces of, uh, yeah, so like my first pair of togs that I broke a world record in, yeah. uh-huh. I've kept them, and yeah, my Olympic outfits, we have all of Because what's amazing, stored. Libby, is in, in the future, you're probably going to be in a museum. Like, they'll probably put your stuff in a museum, so it's good that you're archiving this stuff. Yeah, yeah. well, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not physically in the museum. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get your stuff. Yeah. stuff Libby. And the, the thing about that, Libby, though, people will be looking at maybe your togs and stuff like that and going, oh... How rank are they? Yeah. Look, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because well, that's what we do. We look back at it and exactly. go, well, what were they wearing them for? You see the cotton bathers that they yeah. used to wear yeah. and you're just like, oh, how did they get through the water in those? <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll be looking back, you know, by then, I don't know what they'll be wearing, basically things made of actual fish skin probably. Yes. And uh, yeah, it'll seem like like Dawn Fraser's togs do to us now. Exactly. Amazing, now, it? we've got all the great Australians coming over to perform in this Aquatic Super Series. It's on uh, the late January, by the way. You can see the best in the world. Bit of money up for grabs too, generally, in these Sprint races. Yeah, what's awesome about this series is that there's so much prize money up for grabs and we saw it last, or just this year, earlier in this year, that we just had such amazing performances because, you know, a little bit of extra money, a little pocket money. What are we, yeah. talk, what are we talking about? Uh, it was like 15000 for a win. That's all. Awesome. Yeah, oh, no, that's not bad. Approximately. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, hu- I mean, it's huge money for swimmers yeah. as well and, and certainly one of the biggest prize monies we get around the, uh, around the different series that we have. We need to have like a stall gift type set up, you know, because a handicap. Yeah. And that's where I can come so in. So that, that way. <laughs> <laughs> and because you've done 70, a few things yeah. where you've raced against the guys, haven't you, where yes. there's been a bit of a handicap kind of situation. Yeah. Well, how intimidating is it to stand up next to those guys? Because you've raced some big names. <laughs> Drop some of those names. Well, I, I've raced Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. And yeah. that, that was unbelievable. <laughs> that was probably one of the highlights of my career, to be yeah. honest, because it was straight off the back of the 2007 World Championships and he had had, had his best performance at that World Championships. I'd had my best performance and I got to race him in the lead off of the 4x1 freestyle relay. That's and so cool. It was awesome because he beat me by three body lengths, but I technically broke the world record for women. It didn't count. Yes, it didn't but count because it, it wasn't officially yeah, sanctioned wow. race. That's exactly. That's but, awesome. But I was three body lengths behind him. <laughs> so nobody knew it was actually that fast. <laughs> Do all of you champions hang out? Is there some little sort of like Justice League Is there, of swimmers? Do you have a club? It should be. Yeah, we just have a room. Yeah. There's red velvet on the wall. Yeah, Tommy, we, have a, we have a ring. Flash your medal to yeah, you. That's yeah. the <laughs> so do, you, do you guys all know each other and, and, yeah, what's the deal? Well, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, it's different to other sports where we don't necessarily travel around all together yeah. at the same time, mm. but we do get together, you know, a few times a year and, and certainly on those big trips we love getting together and having, having laughs and having a lot of fun. And that's what's awesome about sport. I think it really brings people together that yeah. we wouldn't normally meet from mm. all around the world and it's really it's been uniting. a little bit troubled recently. Do you think they've sort of fought through the fog now and it's going to be okay? Well, I think our World Championships results really prove that we're on the upward yeah. um, trajectory now. Mm. It, it was just, we had such fantastic performances, such positivity to come out of quite a negative period in the yeah. sport. Um, you know, I'm not saying that we're out of the woods yet. I think yeah. there's still a lot to, to work on, but I think as a whole, the sport is really uniting now and is really moving forward. So working together rather than against one another. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Now That's let's good. talk about what else you've been doing outside of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Dancing, promoting the Aquatic uh, Super Series here for BHP. <laughs> now, the Dancing with the Stars. Yes, I am. Look, oh, I'm sure all of us collectively would go, oh, would we do it? Too Not much. that we'd be asked, but you think, <laughs> I'm going to make a fool of myself and fall on my ass at some stage. That's what you'd be thinking. Hey. Well, to be honest, I've actually always wanted to do Dancing with the Stars. I've, I've told everyone, I think. So you've I, been begging <laughs> to go on it. <laughs> I pretty much begged this time. <laughs> I was like, this is my first opportunity that I really get to do it. And um, so I was really thrilled with the opportunity. But it's uh, at the same time, you know, once I signed the contract, I was like, yeah, 
hold on, what yeah. the hell have I well, got myself We know that into? you've got the commitment. Yeah, you know, you're used to training long hours and putting your body on the line and you're a tiny little bit competitive. So those things will stand you in good stead. But it's really hard it to is. do it. It is. Well... I, you know, I'm willing to work hard. I was training yeah. 35 hours a week with swimming and, yeah. you know, this is l- almost half of that. So yeah. it's still a lot of training, yeah. but um, it's just such a difference. You know, yes. I know, I don't remember learning how to swim, but I'm having to learn then to dance to, yeah. from the very beginning, from the very basics. And there's so much to think about. I reckon the girls I, have got it harder. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to know, I ha- so. how's your dancing <laughs> face going? Because you've got to change it. There's the I'm excited. Um, I, yeah. I, or there's the I'm sultry. Yeah. I only have one dance. Face and that's just mouth open. Like, <laughs> <trying to catch. laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I, I really need to work on that. I wasn't great at drama at school, so I'm trying to work on my characters and getting yes. into telling the, the craft. story. The craft. Into the craft. Exactly. Story. Who's, who's so your partner? Craft. Um, his name's Daniel Gosper. Right. So uh, he's for he's a New South Wales boy, and I won't hold that against him. Perfected <laughs> like the sexy eyes at him. Yeah, because <laughs> that would be hard. Yeah, it, you know what? <laughs> just it, got embarrassed. <laughs> don't you reckon? Because I would be embarrassed. It, it's so yeah. embarrassing. It took, it took Sean two years to do sexy eyes to me without laughing. <laughs> but now he does but it all the time. All the time. Never, never back. Back. asking. Well, hopefully I can perfect it in a little bit shorter time then. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. <laughs>